Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Richard Views. You join me coffee in hand at the Paddle Up HQ location, which is a two acre site located near Malmesbury in Wiltshire. Now, Padlap's tagline is, for, is to provide the most stress-free experience for sellers and risk-free experience for buyers. So, in effect, that provides a clue into the services that they provide. Predominantly, Padlap buy cars and they sell cars. Um, a variation on that, though, is that they provide auctioneering services. So, they may buy your car and auctioneer it separately, or predominantly, they may auction cars for customers. In between the, the cars being purchased or in between the cars being procured, ready for auctioneering, they have to store them somewhere. Now Padlap provides storage for both cars queued for auctions and also for customer storage. Now the customer storage packages that, that Padlap provide are tiered across bronze, silver, gold and platinum, so four different tiers. And each tier is enhanced on the previous tier. Bronze ranging from just base storage up to platinum where they provide car valley services um, in addition to collection and drop off of cars within a 50 mile location. So let's look inside and we'll cover off some of the cars that they have here for sale and are ready and stored for being queued to auction. The first car that greets you to come in is this beautiful 1969 DB6. Now, if you look at the range of owners that this car, that this car has had, the initial owner or one of the earlier owners bought this car for around £5,000 and one of the later owners or the, or the current owner bought the car for £330,000. So this car is now worth around £330,000 and was initially purchased some time ago or sold by an owner for, for around £5,000. This is the separation in how much these cars have elevated in value. So quickly covering off some of the Aston Martins we've got here, we've got an Aston Martin Vanquish S, we've got an Aston Martin Vantage, and then here we've got an Aston Martin DB11. Progressing forwards, we've got a Skyline GTR. Moving along here, we've got a Ferrari Testarossa. This is the base Testarossa. So this is the one that's worth the best value, but in my opinion, as you, as you know, if you're a viewer of our channel, that I actually prefer the 512 TR. The 512 TR, I think, is, is, the, is the best model with regards to drivership and, and reliability on the road, but the actual base Testarossa is the one that's worth the value. And this is a beautiful example of the base Testarossa. So here we have a Lamborghini STO, quite a subdued specification when you compare it to cars like Tim Burton's STO. As you can see here, it's black and looks like metallic black with a black Nero interior with yellow stitching for the STO writing on the seats. Beautiful matte carbon inside as well. Obviously the usual STO swan type rear wing. As we move along here, we've got a 675 LT Spider in this beautiful viola color. If you look at the roof design, very similar to the 458 in that it folds back on itself when it goes back into the housing for that, that retains the roof. This is one of the most sought after McLarens and perceived as the best McLaren pretty much by, by many people, the best McLaren that's ever been made, the 675 LT Spider or the 675 LT in itself. Look at specification, we've got obviously the viola exterior body, body color, then you've got the Alcantara seat, seats inside and the Alcantara general covering for across the dashboard and seats, and you've got the lovely contrasting webbing on the seat belts in orange, which mixes very well. Orange, orange goes very well, of course, with viola, and you've got the piping around the seats as well, which is in orange. So moving along here, we've got a beautiful 355 GTS. Now, this is actually a manual, so it's not got the F1 gearbox, so this is the most sought-after variant of this, of the GTS version variant. And it's one of the most, in my opinion, this is the most sought-after model of the 355 range. So it's a right-hand drive. GTS, again, the most sought-after model in the range, and it's a manual. You can't get much better than this, guys. This is a beautiful variant version of the 355. 
and we've got another special car we've got a 430 manual these are very very rare because the f1 gearbox is becoming very much in fashion the single plate f1 gearbox so predominantly when the 430 was sold most people were purchasing a car with the f1 gearbox instead of the manual gearbox what does that mean well that means of course that the manual gearboxes because they're very small in very small amount were made in production that means that the manual gearboxes are very much sought after now and they are very much at a premium with regards to trying to find one to buy and quickly moving along here we've got an, an f12 most people will know the end variation of this car the specialized variation of the car was the tdf was the f12 tdf and this f12 is in rosso corsa with the white stripe down the center this this stripe on this car looks like it's been added as a um, after the actual purchase because it wasn't oem because in general ferrari stripes are put in underneath the lacquer this stripe is on top of the lacquer so i would say that this stripe has been added afterwards metallic black 599 metallic black exterior nero interior with yellow stitching yellow contrasting stitching nice specification again again the single plate clutch gearbox and here we have an slr roadster don't know too much about these cars um, but now these prices are creeping up um, quite a bit as well obviously a left-hand drive so this is the first floor of the paddle up rooms as you can see here this is in general the meet and greet area they've got soft furniture some lovely comfortable comfortable chairs and sofas and um, where people can stay and stop and have a coffee in addition to provide additional services and, and support for their customers they've got four simulac four driving simulators here at the back so we're going to close out the video now from the Paddle Up Rooms. If you're looking to sell or store your car, please consider Paddle Up, especially if you're in the Wiltshire area. Here you can see this is one of the breakout areas they've got outside at the moment um, while they're building out the rest of their services. So you've got the coffee, the, the portable coffee van. This being a two acre site, they're going to build out the services extensively further. So they're going to provide detailing services, etc., downstream in one of the other areas on this location. Thanks a lot for watching the video, guys. If you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing. Very important to the channel. It's free to do so, it doesn't cost you anything, and you can unsubscribe anytime you want. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.